What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. In today's video, we're gonna check out an extension from the folks over at Flex Tools for managing your model collections on your computer. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. I wanna say a big thank you to my newest supporters. So big thank you to TJW, Metal Sculpture Studios, Matt Forn, FJM, Seas Vink, and Scott Stab. On Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to uh, support the show, maybe vote on the extensions that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, component finder, plugin developer, flextools.cc. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can get it by visiting the Flex Tools website at flextools.cc slash component finder or by clicking the link in the notes down below. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you organize and manage your component library on your hard drive. A lot of people start developing a library of components that they use across multiple different models, but up until this point, there hasn't really been an extension that actually helps you navigate those libraries. This extension allows you to organize and manage all of those components. The way it works is fairly simple. First of all, you can download the extension from the Flex Tools website by clicking the download button, then entering a value that you're willing to pay for the extension. If you want to download it for free, you can simply type in zero dollars and hit the I want this button. This will allow you to download the extension file for installation. In addition, please keep track of the code that pops up when you click the download button. So from there, you can install this extension through your extension manager, and you need to make sure to enter that code in order to get it licensed. So once you have the extension installed, it'll show up as a toolbar within your model. If you also have a license for Flex Tools, the toolbar will be longer, but either way, you're looking for the magnifying glass icon. This will open up the Component Finder window. The way Component Finder works is it allows you to add different folders to your list, which you can then navigate and search within. To add your first folder, Click within the window, navigate to the folder you'd like to add, and then click Select Folder. This will add the folder to your list. You can add objects from your library into your model by simply left-clicking on them and then clicking within your model. There are two navigation modes within Component Finder. Flat View allows you to view all the components within a folder regardless of subfolder. Nav View allows you to browse the folder structure within a folder. You can add multiple different folder locations in your component finder. For example, I could add another folder, in this case the folder for my placemaker building bundle, by simply clicking the folder at the top of the page and adding the new location. The search bar allows you to search for specific keywords within any of your open folders. Note that if you have multiple folders open and you do a search, this will search within any of your open folders in your list. The magnifying glass icons allow you to make your preview files smaller or larger within your folder list. If you click on the little hard drive button, it will open up the location of the selected folder on your hard drive. If you want to save a selected component to a folder, simply select it in your model, then click the plus button to save it to a location of your choice. The up and down buttons allow you to adjust the layout of your different folders, and the minus button will allow you to minimize your folder previews to just your folder names, which is very helpful for navigation. If you decide you no longer want a folder, click the X button to remove it from your list. Finally, if you right click on objects within your folders, you can access other options, like opening the containing folder as a separate tab, renaming files, replacing files with updated files out of your model, and deleting objects. 
So that's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, are you interested in this extension? Do you have trouble managing your component library? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.